Richard Hart here and my brand new Rolls-Royce Cullinan Black that I paid 700,000 euros for wearing my million dollar Daytona Rainbow. Look at that. Hello everybody, Richard Hart here with my $6,250 Louis Vuitton jacket, my quarter million dollar. Hey, Richard Hart here, million dollar joint in Lyle, Dom Perignon, and uh, just got the last Dom Perignon, Everybody, everybody Richard Art here in my $3,000 Valentino nice rock stud purse, my $3,000 Prada jacket. We're calling the Bitcoin top on the day and the bear market. I bought this Chanel purse to hold my Rolls Royce key. Very hard to open. Open! What do we have here? Flex Everybody, Richard Art here in my $3,000 Valentino rock stud purse. And a 700,000 euro brand new. Rolls Royce. Bed baller. You just got balled on, boy. You're nothing compared to me. Bring me your girl, dog. Let me get it. I'm sure you're aware about the situation regarding the SCC issuing subpoenas to Hex influencers. They themselves have received letters as well as the Hex Investment Trust and uh, they've got together a legal team. We are going after a full-on declarative statement from the SEC that HEX is not, is a, not security. a security. Well, look, it's, 
It's a work in progress, okay? A proof of concept. There's an ambition to become fully decentralised over time. And which concept does it prove? Well, it, it proves that people want to decentralise themselves. I mean, you saw how many people arrived to today's congregation. Just because we're doing it in VR chat doesn't make it any less valuable. VR chat is owned by Facebook. The goggles you have on are probably also. So, from where I'm we're sitting, it looks pretty the centralized. The MOD was never going to be decentralised from day one. Instead, we have an ambition to become fully decentralised by 2050. <laughs> 2050? That's like 30 years away, mate. Well, yeah, but, you know, these things take time, Tom. Especially if we don't want to leave anybody behind, like the sheeple, for example. You can leave me behind. I don't mind. I don't really like the decentralization Look, mate, the industry idea, is still in its infancy. There is a lot of testing going on by a lot of smart motherfuckers across many different platforms. Which platforms will win is anybody's guess. I'm not even sure there will be a winner. There's always a winner, you idiot. When money is involved, there's always a winner. True. Richard's winning. Richard. Richard Hart. He invented Hex. Hex? Hex, mate. Just the fastest appreciating asset in crypto three years in a row. Launched by the most charismatic crypto influencer in crypto today. Oh, I haven't today. heard of it. For fuck's sake. Come with me. Tom, mate, I can't believe you haven't heard of Hex. Mate, you're Tom, going to senor. fucking love it. Senor Tom! No, so basically, mate, you just gotta jump off here. Are you fucking kidding me? Where does that even go to? Yeah, don't be shy, mate. That's the way to Hexaco City. Oh well, fuck it. People helped make that bubble, and then wrote it down to one, and then sat through a bunch of bubbles after, and came out publicly to defend my investment when uh, I saw Ethereum was overtaken. Tom, mate, so, I think we should. What do you reckon? This color scheme is not healthy for my. Pretty sick, right? Oh, sure. Senator Tom, I think we should oh, go home. Fucking hell, this color scheme is not healthy for my. Eyes. Tom, mate, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm needed at an auction. Come with. An Tom, auction. mate, I'm fucking late. Sorry, guys, I, I'm, I was onboarding a new. Uh, this is Tom Gillespie. Can you hear me? Say hi. Oh. I'm also being onboarded, Senator uh, Tom. It certainly looks that way, mate. But I don't want to be on board in Senor Tom. Welcome, lady hexagons and gentlemen hexagons, to this week's land drop. Straight from Hexaco City, a reminder, when you buy property in Hexaco, you are effectively sacrificing your bags as we do not claim any of this shit is real and or considered an investment. It's extremely easy for anybody to fork this world and with it, all the assets and so your bags, making the entire process decentralised only in name. But you don't care about that, do you? Because we're all getting loaded in the short term, so fuck the long term, unless you're already staked for 5555. And in that case, best of luck to you and your families. Now, on with the auction. Our first property under the hammer today is this wonderful tower made from over 60 billion pixels comprised of 43 floors of unfurnished office space. This is the perfect place to start an incubator for the development... Tom, senor, what are we doing here? Investigating. Investigating what? I'm not sure yet. Perhaps we should investigate Hex. 500, 500, 50, 600, 600, 600, 600, 700. Oh! Because I can brighten up your day And when you're feeling sad, I put a smile on your face You can tell me what price must I make To make you see things My outfit Come into my life, I got so much love to show you Come into my life, I got so much love to show you 
come into my life Boy, I adore you Come into my life I got so much love to show you Come into my life Cool, Tomai! I think I even still have respect for him, I just... Just a scam, that's all. Hello, Senor. Tomai, mate. Yes, How you going? Mate. How's life? It's okay. My mother has Great, been great. There. Listen, mate. You remember our little escapades in Hexaco City a few months back? The hands of that whimsical little cunt, Batman 360. Um, yes, Senor Tom. Hexaco City. I great. Remember. Well, listen. I want to go ahead and investigate that project. Okay, Senor Tom. Yeah, the last one got axed by 60 minutes at the last minute. Something to do with um, talking about the karaoke wife swap of Tara Brown. It was, apparently it wasn't supposed oh, to be no. made public. Oh, 60 minutes so. our first investigation. But what do you reckon? You up for it? Um, yes, Senior Tom. Great. Yes, Senior Tom, when will this production commence? Yeah, no, I've already started, actually. I, uh, I staked Hex. Staked Hex? Whatever that bloody means. We will have to return to Hexico City because yeah. I really don't like... Yeah, all right, listen, mate. Here. It gave me headache for days. I'm, like, I'm actually on my way over to you right now, so I'll be with you in five minutes, okay? Like lies, no utility, and he did it with such confidence. The only regret I have with Richard Hart is that I didn't realize he was from Florida sooner, because he really is the classic Florida confidence man archetype. They have this kind of presentation that I see very evident in Richard Hart. So something about that act comes out of Florida. Call them a cult, or call them fans. These followers of Hex cryptocurrency from Richard Hart, real name Richard Schuler, are fanatical about their support. With many new millionaires, it, yeah, it's going way too fast. Slow that shit down. How's it going fast? Still going fast, for fuck's sake. Cryptocurrency from Richard Hart, real name Richard Schuler, fan are fanatical about their support. That was terrible are absolutely fanatical about their support. Christ's sake, fucking fifth time lucky. Call them a cult or call them fans. A great man once said, time is money. Another not so well-known man said, it's not about having time or finding time, it's about making time. I forget their names now, but nobody ever remembers their stuff anyway. But so then, how do we value our time? How can we put a monetary value on time? Whose time is money? Is everyone's time worth the same? If the love of money is the root of all evil, and time is money, is the love of time also evil? Enlighten us, tell us a little bit about what's going on with your son's position in the cryptocurrency space. Well, first of all, I have to remember my son is 18 years old, so he's not, you know, he, he's never actually had a job. The various scootering crimes going on in the dark market, what are your, what are your thoughts on, on how that might unfold going forward? It, it, it's, it's just like the same things. Yeah. <laughs> this always gets like the crypto people angry, but uh, I think it's crazy. Uh, th there, are, there, are, there are transactions that are um, not within the balance of the law. If time is the ultimate currency, then it appears hexagons are already the wealthiest people on the planet. Now this begs the question, where is this time money made? How much of it is there to go around? And can I also join the ranks of hexagons and become one of the wealthiest persons in history? A legitimate alternative to fiat paper currency real digital currency, yeah. stable, that can act as a medium of exchange and a unit of account and a store of value, and that solves all of these problems, which is what a real cryptocurrency backed by gold would do, uh, that the government would probably not follow. Okay, right, okay. Well, let's leave it there. Thank you very much, Peter Schiff, and uh, good luck with your investing in old heavy metals that have been dug out the ground by children in Africa. And there are obviously many laws in different countries. 
and normally cash is used for these transactions. But, ca but in order for illegal transactions to occur, those, the cash must also be used for legal transactions. You need a, a, an illegal to legal bridge. Widely despised and often dismissed by the wider cryptocurrency community, HEX is arguably the most hated cryptocurrency on the market. Being frequently labelled a scam even before its inception in 2019. Is this down to the founder being so vocal about the industry's problems with centralisation? Or is it possibly true that HEX is in fact set to become the fastest appreciating asset on earth? If you go to a website and it talks about price. People have been habituated to believe that that is a scam. I made Uniswap popular, personally, me. I carried them on my fucking back. Are you just trolling everyone? I mean, you're scamming everyone. Let's, oh, let's, not, let's not pretend it's anything else. Okay. I mean, this is a scam. Uh -huh. uh, Holy fuck. I know this is gonna be hard for you to get educated, which is how you ended up in the apathetic, unintelligent place that you are now. But if you're quiet for long enough, I can make you smarter. My buddy, he watches Richard and he's like, oh, this is a great thing. This latest video is his, uh, 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 and where he talks about nothing. To everyone extent. is not going to win. Everyone okay. is not going to win. A okay. lot of people are going to lose. Why must cryptocurrency be so confusing? Because cryptocurrencies are so dishonest that, the, that they pretend the price doesn't exist. If you go to Bitcoin.org, they don't talk about the price. Do you know who was the majority of Uniswap's liquidity for months? Hex. Yeah. So bow down and fucking respect because you only know about it because I made it popular. Are you a Mensa? I'm a Mensa. No. So what? It's I've, not, I've got literal a... scientific proof that I'm smart. Where's yours? And tell me what the fuck is up with this bullshit you're fucking selling. You need to look at whether they're telling the truth or not. And like, my point is this looks like a scam until you look into it. Okay, so you're openly admitting now this is designed for a lot of people to lose. They don't talk about the only thing anyone actually cares about. I don't. Need I understand. You to make, that I don't Uniswap need you to make works. me smarter. You know. I think I'm smarter than you, so let's just. I know you that. do. That's how every speculative instrument works in the history of mankind. Human beings think things are worth a lot, and then they think they're worth a little, and then they think they're worth a lot. If anybody guarantees you a return, run. Honestly, mm. mate, you, you, I, I think it's utterly pathetic that what you're doing to people. But go ahead. I am going to block you now, dude. Do you know what work is? The nominees for best new scam are. Do whatever you think is best for you. I built something amazing, okay? If you think it's amazing, come play along. When you need clear answers, go to Richard Hart. The, the smartest, smartest man, man in crypto, crypto Richard, Richard Hart. Hart. Hello, people. It's a beautiful, beautiful evening in Wasingishu. I have a friend who is a hexagon. He's going to introduce himself and tell us what's up. People are talking about Hex and Richard Hart's uh, little scam with uh, filling up empty blocks. <laughs> Hex by I'm behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah. I think when you mention you're behind the scenes, I want to return to Wazito to keep learning. I'll see you. <laughs> when, I, when I tell him, like, look, you're a scammer because you have bags and you're going to sell them to somebody who's going to pay more than you paid for them. It's as simple as that. It's Hex. <laughs> and the winner is Hex. How many, how, how, how many units of Hex were you given? I, I, I can't tell my own because now uh, <laughs> oh so good the reasons. <laughs> I, I can only do the best I can do, right? I, I show you the data, I show you the facts, I present you to the real world. You do your own computation. Richard knows his crypto stuff. Crypto smart with Richard Hart. <laughs> Richard Hart, <laughs> you're a fucking scammer just like everybody else. And I'm gonna make a video about it because you actually will never forget me. Motherfuck. Welcome to Hexaco. So it's uh, precisely 6:30 in the morning here and I had an in I had an interview scheduled with a young man called Matty Allin 
Matt, Matty Allen from Hex Therapy Live, but he's just dropped me a message at the last moment suggesting that he's not gonna, he basically said, I think I need to reschedule due to unforeseen issues. He's not gonna turn up today, so I thought maybe we'll just have a quick look at one of his latest videos. And this video is called Why We Love High Fees with a Hex Therapy Matty all, all in. What stops double spends, but it's also what allows, right, the, the code to meet the humans, right? Where, where Bitcoin is having the code meet the humans is through burning way too much electricity and having centralized exchanges be in charge of everything. Why do you think all the crypto news that I don't pay attention to, and you shouldn't either, it's all talking about regulation right now. What do you mean, like, this is crypto. Crypto... Yeah, how's it going? Crypto is DeFi. Crypto is hacks. I don't... I don't hear anybody talking no, about regulation. No, he hasn't, hacks, he hasn't turned up. I mean, yeah, I know. How are you going to regulate... I got, I got a strange feeling they're just fucking with us. It's easy enough to regulate Bitcoin keep, when it trades... Keep sending us suggestions and then these people don't even bloody turn up. Yeah, I know. Have you seen... Yeah. Call them a cult or call them fans. These followers of the Hex cryptocurrency from Richard Hart, real name Richard Schuler, are absolutely fanatical about their support. With many new millionaires in their ranks, according to their digital wallets at least, I, Tom Gillespie, better known for investigating the scooter coin con from the fake fluencer movie, aim to find out the truth behind this controversial system. Although widely ridiculed within the cryptocurrency industry, on the surface, Richard appears to have minted numerous new millionaires via his hex system, leading to him becoming a king amongst his people. Are you a hexagon? Or maybe you think they're scamsters and their leader Richard spreads lies to manipulate novices into buying into their version of cryptopia. I'm Tom Gillespie, crypto scamdemic investigator, and I've been invited to take a trip down the hex rabbit hole to find out. G'day everyone, Tom Peter Gillespie here, crypto scamdemic investigator. I'm now on Cameo, and I'm more than happy to take your requests, as long as you don't use any profanities or investment advice, financial advice, etc. I'm happy to work with you and deliver a message to those who you care about most. Uh, Tom Gillespie is doing an investigation into Hex to find out if it's a scam or not. So if you see any Hex haters that are willing to actually go on record and have a conversation with Tom, send them there. In fact, anybody that wants to talk smack about Hex, make sure you say, tell your story to Tom Gillespie. Hello. No audio coming through, mate. I can hear you now. Can see you perfectly fine, just can't hear you yet. And now I can see you. I can't hear you. You can't hear me. Can you hear me? Hi. Yeah, can you hear me? Still no audio coming through. Yeah. Um, is my, my lighting looks like really washed out yeah it's it's a bit overblown oh you're you're muted uh, it's still kind of blown out on this side what what camera have you got rolling smart video how you going um can you hear me everyone i can hear you loud and clear i can't hear you 
as you can see, I've set up a little bit of a studio here. Did, did a bit of experimenting with the lighting. Of course, I've got this camera here shooting directly onto the other, the participant, the interviewee, um, because I don't want to pay for the pro version of Zoom. My name's Emmanuel. Uh, in the Hex community, I go by the name Tangent. All right, when I first found Hex, I was really just looking to swing trade crypto. Other than my crypto.com stakes, I was like, eh, maybe I can play around with a few bucks. Buy low, sell high. My name is Tim Benjamin, and I live in the United States, and I've been involved with Hex since day one. I approached it as a skeptic, like yourself. Uh, I've seen a lot of stuff in the crypto space fail and uh, a lot of anonymous rug pools, et cetera, et cetera. Richard Hart, you know, has basically said that it can go, it can go very high, this coin. And usually when Richard speaks, I listen and he's usually right. When I was watching like Richard's previous videos, he started talking about he was coming out with Hex. So I was back in the Telegram groups way before Hex even came out and they were calling it like, oh, it's going to be called Bitcoin Hex. I really had to look into this thing because it just seemed like, you know, too good to be true. And in most cases, things that are too good to be true usually are. The key word being usually. If this all plays out the way it will play out, you know, we all, all of us hexagons have a lot of money. When I read it and understand like just the website and like how it works and the interest and the, the daily interest and the staking, like I just thought, wow, this is genius. Like this actually makes so much sense. The more I dug and the deeper I got, the more I realized that, you know, this is something that is actually revolutionary. And I know money's not the answer to happiness, but it sure does change a life, um, especially you know, there's a lot of us in the community who've, who've grown up with, without having a lot of money. Um, still, we're all wage slaves, you know, working nine to five. But I think I know about at least 15 hexagons who have retired thanks, thanks to Hex. They've quit their day job. When it did come out, it was already working right away. You could stake right away. You could, like, it was already working. You could see the interest right away. So compared to any other project out there that was not a product and not complete, this was something that was like, this is it. This is the crypto that you want to have. And it made sense because it was designed by a guy who already saw all the problems with the crypto space and saw that the crypto space is really kind of heading down a dark tunnel and saw the need for you not to have the tragedy of the commons to actually be able to participate in the network and not be excluded, uh, you know, based on your income. Right, yeah, so you've, so you, I'll just have a look now, hang on. You know, I'm looking at the gas, the gas prices look pretty damn good right now, actually. Five, five bucks. Now that, that's pretty damn good considering what I've been looking at. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it now. All right. G'day everyone. Tom Gillespie here, Tom Peter Gillespie actually, crypto scamdemic investigator. So if you've been following along, you'll know that now I am uh, heading down the rabbit hole known as Hex. Uh, creator Richard Hart has built a very, very engaged community uh, that go by the name of Hexicons, and they dwell in a place called Hexico. One thing that has come up uh, in discussion with the production company is that there is something called staking and you basically you park hex the currency in a in a smart contract and then you you know the longer you leave it there the the better the interest over time so I'll, I'll put 500 bucks in for one year so let's hop in and I'll show you the process of how I staked my hex. So I'll, I'll just open my MetaMask, MetaMask wallet, and I'm going to proceed to stake my hex, which I have received from the production company. They sent me 500 bucks worth of hex, which if I have a look here, let me just, I've got to connect the wallet to the, to the website here before I can actually proceed. How do I do that now? 
Looks like it's synchronizing now. Yeah. Okay, so now I can see my balance there. Okay, so let's go and have a look. I'm going to stake the whole $500, which here it suggests is 13,000 hex. I don't know. I'm, you know, I'm I'm assuming that's correct. So do you know what fuck it? We'll just we'll put a year in, 365 days, and I'm going to go ahead and stake that. So this co this commitment of 13,000 hex is uh throughout the investigatory period is going to show that I'm sticking, I'm not, I'm committed and I'm sticking around, I'm not fucking about. Let's have a look at it on Etherscan, oh, well oh, it's not even, it's not actually even there. What does that mean? Oh wait, hang on. Okay, now it's gone through. Okay, success, excellent. Hang on a fuck, what the fuck? That's not... That's not 500 bucks, that's five, nearly 5,000 bucks. Into a black hole, no less. What the fuck have I just done? I better hop, I better give the uh, production company a ring. Fucking hell. G'day, Moritz. I've got a message to you from Buttfucks. Sorry, fuck bucks. Hex is going to zero, and as much as you like to believe you're one step ahead of Richard, it's not the case, mate. The green lines will turn to red eventually, and you'll be caught in the crossfires. Good luck to you, mate. I'm looking forward to seeing how my stake unfolds as well as yours. My parents aren't dead yet, but they probably will die soon. I haven't done much harm. My dog will die, and then I'll die. And at what point do you realize this money shit? Blockchain is an extremely, extremely bad database. Sometimes you can't write to it. Sometimes what you write to it gets forked off and disappears. It's extremely slow. Bitcoin does three or four transactions a second. It's extremely expensive. It's extremely wasteful. If you want the slowest, shittiest database in the world, use a blockchain. So there's this really negative history of what people call promise coins and other shit coins where they say the same thing Hex does with price appreciation. Oh, this, this coin will make you a millionaire. So they don't believe it when they hear it. And then when they look at it, they don't understand it. It really scares them. And it's, I think it's easier to believe that Hex is a scam than it is to understand how the T-share system works. If you're invested in a lot of other things and people pay you to get advice on how to trade, a coin that is specifically designed to stop trading pretty much works against your entire business model. I think a lot of people profit off of traders losing money and Hex is designed to stop that. So there's a large market that doesn't want Hex to be legit, even though it is. I, I think it is difficult, if not impossible, to prove 100% that something is or isn't a scam. So we're always within this gray area, not knowing for sure, even with something like Bitcoin, we don't know, we can't prove uh, with 100% certainty that it is not a scam. I think the reason you've had difficulty getting people to come forward and express what they don't like about Hex or why they believe Hex is a scam is because they haven't done deep enough research into it to even be able to mount an argument uh, concisely and effectively against Hex. And I believe that people within the Hex community, particularly someone like Richard, would actually be best placed to give you the argument for why it's not perfect, sort of to highlight the imperfections or, or things that are less than ideal. I'd like to touch on the subject of maximalism. 
the term maximalism did not start to enter the space until if I remember correctly, until like a year, at least a year or two after the fact. And that's because there were no, I mean, there were altcoins that came into existence almost from the get-go because Charlie Lee started forking Bitcoin right away. Uh, Litecoin came out in 2000, I think it was already in existence by 2011. I considered myself a wannabe Bitcoin maximalist but the fact is I never could go there in my mind because I wasn't a miner. I just didn't have the hardware necessary to get involved in mining. Even back in 2011, I just didn't have the money to buy video cards. And so in that sense, I never could really go all the way with the whole maximalist mindset because I wasn't actually producing the thing that I was so into. But for me, if I'm not producing Bitcoin, I don't have a real reason to be a maximalist. So these people who go online with this arrogant attitude that Bitcoin is the only legitimate crypto, if they're not producing it, they really don't have a leg to stand on. And it turns that attitude into a turnoff. And this is what has resulted in us hexagons coming up with terms like Furu and coming against these people because they came against us first. Hex was designed to benefit Bitcoin people. And, you know, we didn't come out of the gate swinging fists and coming against people and saying, you all suck because you're not in Hex. Nobody had that attitude at the beginning. And I don't even know very many people that have that attitude now because we do not have a chip on our shoulder. You know, people would say, well, you're Hex maximalists. Well, yeah, I'm fully invested in Hex. And yes, I'm involved in producing it as a staker, but I'm not coming against other people saying you all suck because you're not in Hex. I believe Hex is a net benefit for the whole world. And that's why I promote it. And that's why I'm into it. And that's why I defend it. Come at people with facts, not with attitude. That's what I would like to see. And if you, you know, if you incorporate that in your documentary, I would like to see you to address that subject too, because as crypto, we do have one common goal, and that is to provide the world with something better than institutionalized systems of fiat, like the Federal Reserve and the Bank of England, the Bank of International Settlements, all these institutions where the people outside of those institutions do not have a voice in how those institutions operate. My investigation is obviously unfolding online at the same time, and I have had a bit of, bit of a dilemma getting hold of the op opposition, if you like. But um, let's wrap it up there then, Timothy, because I actually have a, another uh, meeting sure. coming up very shortly. And also the, the Zoom here says that it's, it's running out of time. I, I, I don't know what kind of world this is where people think that an anonymous founder is safer than somebody who is actually proud of what they built. You know, I, I, I don't get this, right? An anonymous person can just jump, pull that rug and go, right? See, if people are actually proud of what they build, they want to be recognized for it, right? You know, I'm an artist. I build things. I like to look at things and go, I made that. I understand this concept. When people are trying to tell me that an anonymous founder that has no interest in claiming any responsibility for what they built is safer than somebody that's actually proud of what they built, I have to say they're delusional, right? So I'm number one, I'm going to look for, is this founder known? What is this guy's track record? You know how many people in the crypto space are criminals that are actually criminals that you can look up and find that they have a criminal track record, yet they produce coins. People don't look into that. That's why people use anonymous names. That's why people don't want to be known, right? They don't want you to see their face because they have shit to hide. Richard is right out there in the open. He is taking all the punches. He's taking all the shots. He's willing to stand up with anybody and interview anybody and address their concerns right there live, in person, no script, no nothing. Who does that? Who is willing to do that? A person that has nothing to hide. 
This is why you're having so much trouble finding someone that's going to stand by and say, well, Hex is a scam because number one, they haven't researched it. Number two, they don't have any material to present you. They know they don't have any material to present you. You know, are these people just not educated, which is mostly true, somewhat true. Um, they just don't understand. Um, is it cult mentality? Is it crypto cult mentality? Because there's a lot of nastiness in crypto, especially on Twitter. I believe that the lack of education um, is causing people to take on this cult mentality where if they don't understand something, they're just going to say, oh, that must be a scam because it's not on my exchange. I can't see it. It's it's not on um, coin market cap. Look at the market supply. It, it's huge. It's not even listed correctly on coin market cap. The correct listing is on nomics.com and it always has been on nomics.com. Our coin market cap are too lazy to draw um, a basically live update um, because of the staking and they don't want to count a certain part of the supply. So they have it listed at number 201. Um, yet Yahoo Finance has got it listed as number three and they pull their data from CoinMarketCap. If you look at Etherscan also, you'll see that Hex is in the correct position at number three. So Etherscan is basically the boss, like that tells you the exact data. So any, any normal person educated person will say well if ether scan is saying number three it's a goddamn number three and you know what i notice about a lot about the hex community they're, they're all very open-minded individual hex. outgoing it's people right. like richard hart right. they think for themselves right. yeah. they're independent they have big personalities and the they're not nasty you know they, they've all got there's one thing that i see all across the board the hexagons really want to help people they want to change the world you know, but you have got the other side of it. And, you know, Hexicans battled from day one. Um, you know, the hate that Richard Hart received, the hate that Hexicans received. And and you will see in his videos, even his early videos, he'll tell you straight out, some's a scam, don't touch it. He'll say that. He's for the people. He's genuine. And I think there's a lot of people that aren't. Like, you know, your Sunny Decrees, your Ivan on Tex, like... And there's a lot more, your Eric Walls, they're not genuine, nice people. And, you know, they're all about the money and their attitude really stinks. You know, they're all real, and they're all real pump and dumpers. Like I've heard some horrible stories about them, you know, getting on their channel and, you know, pumping these shit coins where they might've got in before everyone else, all their 200,000, whatever followers see that, that, bumps the price up and then they sell out. At first, I mean, it kind of sucked because you're promoting something that you actually believe in and is actually working. And when you know Richard, you see he's like a good person genuinely wants to help people. And when everyone else is calling it a scam and you're trying to, you know, onboard your friends and family and they don't really want to hear about it, like that sucks because you know they're missing out on such a good opportunity. And especially now to see like the crazy gains, like I wish people listened to me earlier doesn't really matter anymore. It's like the people who call it a scam and the influencers who just talked bad about Richard, it's their loss and they can't catch up to us now. But unfortunately, as usual, Tommy's nowhere to be bloody seen. We definitely needed a, a new audio, a new sound guy to make this work really. No, I appreciate that. No, he's trying to get the fucking aeroplane. He is, he is an aeroplane now. Yeah, no, he's doing. No, he's doing a pretty good job. He's uh, he's doing all right actually. He's doing really good. But about the budget for the for the the red wine um, fed cow cow meat. No, it's Chinese. I think it's from Huang Huang G'day everyone, Tom Gillespie here. I have just arrived on location in Florida and I've got Tomo back there setting up his camcorder stuff and we are here to look for Richard Hart because I was listening to a podcast recently and I understand that he is actually from Florida so 
I took it upon myself to come out here with Tomo, try to knock some doors and see if we can't figure out where this cunt lives. Now this is a this is a pretty place, isn't it, Tomo? I can imagine there's a lot of um, a lot of crypto enthusiasts live around here. That's that would be fair to say, right? There's a, a constant waft of dope in the air as well. Have you noticed? No, I'm yeah, no, I'm I'm close by now. I'm fairly confident he lives around here somewhere. Uh, I think what's it, what's this place called again, Tomo? What's it called? Uh, Key Florida. Key Florida. Yeah, no, I know that. Of course. No. I'll continue looking. I'm, I'm, on, I'm in hot pursuit. Tomo, they've only, they're only, beers are only two bucks in here. That's pretty okay. And hemp. Yeah, okay. No, I'll, I will get back to you later on this evening and I'll, I'll update you, okay? Just, just send, make sure to send that, that money over, because, yeah, it is, exp it's quite expensive here. All right. All right, see you later. Okay, we've just arrived at Florida Keys. So I have it on good authority that Richard Hart lives in this village, and we're gonna go around and just speak to a few locals and see if we can't get a lead, um, figure out. What you may need to, you may need to up the sensitivity on this mic so that you pick up the other person. Just an FYI, Tomo. Eh, excuse me, are you from round here? Mm -hmm. Have you, have you heard of Richard Hart? Richard Hart. Richard Hart from Hex. He lives around here somewhere. He has a, sh I think he has a store. Store? Yeah, we're making a documentary about him, and uh, we're trying to find him. No, okay. No problem, thanks. Excuse me, mate. Are you a local? Are you, are you, have you spent any time in Miami? Miami? No. S sorry, wait, this is not Miami, this is Florida. It's Florida, right? We're looking for Richard Hart of Hex. Of who? Oh. Hex. I don't know who that is. Okay, we're making a documentary film production about him. We're at Australian television, and it's led us here because we believe he, well, he lives here. Okay, yeah, I just got in today, so I have no idea. Send your thumb. My favorite, Palabot, Bougainville. You see the Bougainville? This one here? Yes. Tell, tell me what you like about it. Yeah, the name. It doesn't smell of anything. Literally smells of nothing. Sorry. Oh, Excuse me, mate. Uh, have you heard, have you heard of Richard Hart? He's a local fella. He runs Hex. No. He's supposed to be on Duval. Yeah, he's he's somewhere on this street, so. I don't it, know, is he an artist or is he a what? He runs Hex, it's a cryptocurrency. Oh, we're, cryptocurrency. Yeah, we're doing a, we're doing a documentary about his, his cryptocurrency. And All right, I think there is a crypto place, but it's up around in the middle of the vault. Okay, so there's a, there's a store. I think I've actually seen a cryptocurrency place up around the 800 block. And yes, I see you too. Oh, yeah, he's with my uh, well, team. I know, I know. I can give him this. Too. You're wel welcome to say hello to too, yeah. everything. So, how you doing? Good. But yes, I think there there is a crypto place up by Mel Fisher, who is the guy who discovered the sunken Spanish treasure. But there's also, a, I believe, there's a crypto place up around there. Do you know what? Do you know what the name is by chance? Buddy, you're killing me. I'm trying to have a beer. Too, ma too, too many questions. Too many questions, man. I understand. Let me have my beer. I just got it. No problem. And it's hot outside. Enjoy it. Enjoy it, mate. Pleasure to meet you. You too. You too. <laughs> but it's that way, not this way. I'm looking for Richard Hart. 
Oh. He, 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 he created Hicks, uh, the cryptocurrency Hicks. Well, that he, would he be lives it. around here. Yeah, no, I don't know where he lives. No. No. Oh, okay. Sorry. He's very popular around here, apparently. <laughs> So. I know a couple well, of the other ones, but well, yeah, that we'll, one I don't we'll, know we yet. will pay attention though. <laughs> okay, I appreciate your time. You're welcome. Yeah, Have a good day. How's the uh, audio it's from from the good. other person? It's very good. Oh really? I'm a professional. Huh? Well, that's good to know, man. See, there's another waft of dope again. No, no. It's like there's people smoking oh. bloody dope all over the place. Sorry, isn't sorry, sorry, I don't have time. For you. You know, America's not nearly as bad as people make it out to be, right? Remi especially this part reminds me a lot of um, the Melbourne suburbs. Suburb? Is that a car? Suburbs? Suburb. No, that's where the rich people live. They live in cars. No, that's beyond the suburbs. So first you have rich people that live in the suburbs, then beyond there you have middle class people that live in their cars. Where is the place? It's just, the city, city. yeah, typically outside of the city. Yeah, but which city? The one, yeah, any city. <laughs> fucking hell. What's it called? Florida Key. Florida Keys or something. Anyway, um, Richard's supposed to live around here, so I've been talking to the locals. I think I've talked to about upwards of 250 locals so far. Nobody, can, nobody has a fucking clue where he is or who he is, so whoever sent me down here has sent me on a fucking wild goose chase, as per usual. And I'm looking at you, you know, research team back there and Scotty in marketing. You've done me a favour in a sense that you've sent me to Miami, but you've done me a disfavour. In the sense that you've, you know, you've sent me somewhere where I don't actually think Richard lives anymore, or maybe he lived here, maybe he didn't. I don't know. So, anyway, it's quite nice here. It's Santa Tom, you remember uh, Bitman 360? How could I forget? You found him, huh? Yeah, but do you not remember what we had to do to find you him? You found him, huh? Yeah, well, we kind so of found him. So, Santa Tom, you will get him. Don't worry. Be optimistic. You're in control of your own happiness. Hang on a sec, Tom. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's no, it's well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Of course, it's been a, it's been a very productive day. Oh, Tomo remains optimistic. I'm somewhat optimistic that we will find him. Yeah, maybe two or three hundred people. Yeah, well, I mean, you have to talk to a lot of people in order to fucking get to the bottom of things. You know this, don't you? Remember? Yeah. No, listen. fucking hung up on me. This is not going well at all today. I think we should knock off for the day and try again tomorrow. Okay, thank you. Bye. Don't have to thank me, mate. What is a god whale? Everything is motherfucking possible. This wag me. We've no idea. Um, I am wondering why people are so worried about the OA. Tomo, mate, we have some serious competition here. I'll have to go into some detail around how I was able to miss the best performing asset of the year, which is Hex. I actually understand Tom Gillespie's position, right? No, 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 we have to go. We have Tom Gillespie here. I'd like to ask you a couple of questions about decentralization. Yeah, I, I've got a... Uh, are we on camera right now? Camera right now. Richard wanted to work with us, but at that point in time, it was just not the right time. But yes, I'm familiar with Richard and, and Hex. It's like it is a Ponzi, but like every, like it, it is a self-aware Ponzi. If anything, honestly, it's probably going to get worse before it gets better. If you're going to a circus, you expect to see clowns, but not everybody in attendance at that circus is necessarily a clown. Uh, it's a way to mask my identity. So now it's sort of a privacy uh, uh, thing. A lot of people are going to get hate and criticism, so it's up to him and his teams to prove whether they have long-term viability or not. Fire! Let's run an interview about Hex? Okay, all right, all right. We made an epic fuck up, basically. 
We are limitless. You feel like Charlie Lee when you're streaming from the car. And you think you look like Tom Waits When you're pumping cons on fire It's so bizarre you think you are A new kind of Charlie Shrimp But the only thing I ever seen of you Was a Twitch stream for back when Influencer, influencer You think you are an influencer, influencer You think you are an influencer, influencer You think you are an Belong to the top hundred, launch your own private blockchain. But you worked in a crypto startup every day until you could afford a great trade. So we went to Sweden to meet Ivan on tech. He wasn't there, we just didn't care. I think it's time for you, my friend, to stop pretending that you are an influencer, influencer. You think you are an influencer, influencer. You think you are an Have gone to zero when your gains had vanished into dust. Can't let them go, you want to know. Influencer, influencer, you think you are an influencer, influencer, you think you are an influencer, influencer, you think you are an influencer, 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 you think. Influencer, influencer, you think you are an influencer?